FNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, this is Larry Pesavento, the mid-morning update for stocks, commodities, and foreign exchange. And we've got the stock market strong again. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, folks, has taken a high out that we made just about uh, two weeks ago by about, uh, took it out by about 20 points. But uh, we are setting above the 61% retracement now by over 200 points. As Basil Chapman would tell us, this is a bifurcated market because the NASDAQ, the S&P, and the Russell are all lagging badly. But the Dow Jones, because of stocks like Bestway and a few others, uh, the heavy-weighted stocks, price-weighted, of course, are going higher. Gold is moving a little bit lower, trading down around 1740 an ounce. Silver's a little bit lower. Uh, the, the grains are actually lower, and considering that we have a drought situation all across the southwest and part of the of a lower Midwest, uh, it's really, uh, really amazing. But we'll have Rich Anderson, hopefully, as our guest tomorrow, and he will talk to us about that on my show, which is from uh, 1 to 2 each day. The other markets that are looking interesting, the foreign exchange markets are bouncing around just a little bit. The dollar is a little bit stronger, i.e., the euro and the pound are just slightly weaker. I mean, it's basically almost an unchanged uh, approach right there. Remember now, folks, we have a holiday coming up here. The day after Thanksgiving, that would be Friday, has a 76 – I think it's 76 percent chance of closing higher that day. I mean the closing price. In other words, it could be down all day long. And as long as it closes higher, that would be the situation that would occur about 76% of the time. So it's pretty hard to be a seller on that day, the day after Thanksgiving. Whether it has anything to do with Turkey or not, I have no clue. But I, neither does anybody else. But anyway, that's just something I think we should uh, remember. The, the important part about that statistic is if the Dow Jones should be down on the day after Friday, uh, Thanksgiving, uh, that is very negative. Uh, that means the probability of a rallying after that is less than 24%. So those are just the statistics behind that. Take it for what it's worth. Let the charts lead you on the way. Let trade what you see, not what you think, and not what you hear. That's the important thing because they can lie, cheat, and give you misinformation, but they can't hide from you. Prices are going up. There's more buyers. Prices are going down. There's more sellers. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. 